Good morning, buongiorno Alessandro. So, how are you today? Good, thank you. Good morning. Are you ready for some uh, questions? Of course. Okay, let's get started. So, Alessandro, when did you know that you wanted to be a chef? You know, I've been working in London in uh, the restaurant for my first time. And um, I used to spend a lot of time. I was not in the kitchen, but I was spending a lot of time in the kitchen. And I used to look at the chefs working. And then, uh, you know, I really admired the job they was doing. So I think from that moment, you know, I, I fall in love with the job. And then I asked to move in the kitchen. And from that, the passion start. And uh, from that moment, I understood was, uh, you know. Excellent. Yeah. What year was this? Uh, to, uh, 1999. What is the most surprising response you ever had from one of your dishes? Uh, when some customer order, uh, you know, two or three times, one after the other, the same dish. This is what happened, was quite uh, surprising. How does having your own restaurant change a man? Yeah, owning the restaurant gives you a lot of uh, more responsibilities, uh, not only on yourself, uh, on your family, on your staff. You have to think a lot. Uh, before you do anything and actually you never stop to think about your own restaurant because it's like a, it's like your life you know and uh, makes you more responsible what are the benefits of owning your mistakes it's a good things you know as uh, you know everyone make mistakes so the best things to do is learn from your mistake and then you will not do next time. It makes you more responsible. What do you wish everyone knew about chefs? I wish uh, uh, they, they know, I mean, the way we work, what takes to us to create a dish, to run a restaurant, a service staff, kitchen staff, the full experience, you know, behind uh, a normal dining experience. There are so many details uh, to know and, and, and then um, I wish everyone should know from when the food arrived in our refrigerators until it's served to the customer. There are so many things to know, so many steps, so many details. Uh, Sometimes customers just come in a restaurant, order a meal, sit, eat, drink and go. But before that, th there is a, a lot of uh, preparation. You never had a bad response for any of your dishes? No, of course, happen. I think uh, this happened to all the chefs because our customers, they have uh, different takes, uh, different likes. So I'm, I'm also one of them that, you know, sometimes I go to restaurants and I don't like uh, one dish or one combination matching of uh, ingredients, so yes. What is your most popular, let's say iconic dish in your restaurant? We have quite a few, it's not only one, but I say the slow cook egg with the parmesan fondue, black truffle and crispy pancetta is one of the iconic dishes at Aqua. So what do you think is going to be the new food trend as we come out of this pandemic? I'm not sure if there will be a new food trend coming up from uh, the pandemic, um, but you know, I think there is a a way to eat that is always popular so clean food clean taste fresh ingredients uh, i think this is something uh, people are looking for where and when did you first meet thomas i th i met thomas I still remember i was doing a pop-up cooking at surin beach in a in a small uh, wine shop and uh, he arrived and he was, you know, introduced himself and he, he said, you know, I'm opening a new restaurant in Patong. It's going to be, be called the Ninth Floor. And uh, yeah, we are under construction now. And this is the, you know, when I met him, I think it was 2005, 2005. I was still the executive chef at the Sheraton Phuket. What is the dish you sell the most in your restaurant? I think it's the octopus salad, the sous vide octopus salad, yeah. 
Uh, is there one thing you always wanted to tell Thomas? Thomas is a good friend, good customer, and we spend a lot of time in our restaurant. Uh, you know, sometimes we spend time talking uh, about Phuket, about uh, what is going on. It's, it's always welcome to our restaurant and uh, yeah, even if we are so different, uh, but you know, we like each other, we like each other. Is there a chef that particularly inspired you at the beginning of your career? Uh, yeah, uh, Marco Pierre White was one of my idols when I used to work in London. His restaurant was in Mayfair, close to the restaurant where I was working. And I used to pass his restaurant every day and uh, always stop. I look at the restaurant like a, a temple of cuisine, you know. So it, it gave me a lot of inspiration. I, I bought all his books uh, at the time. And then after, with the with that, with that time, I, I uh, got to know Joël Robuchon that, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, he has a lot of uh, detail on his uh, cuisine and I, I like uh, detail cuisine, uh, so I, I also like him a lot. What do you think of Gordon Ramsay? Is he a genius or a twat? No, he's a genius because, uh, okay, at the beginning, he demonstrate, he showed to the people that, you know, he has the ball, uh, he knows his job. He, he got three Michelin stars in his restaurant, so if you are an idiot, you don't get three Michelin stars. So uh, he demonstrate he's, he's a pure chef, he knows his job. And then uh, after that, he moved on, you know, TV personality, where he makes a lot of money. And, you know, I think he's a genius. What is your favorite branch on the island? Probably, you know, all the branches are nice, in the, but the, the latest, the new trends on serving with nice presentation was the Trisara. Do you work out? Yes. What do you do? Uh, go to the gym uh, five times a week, so I do a bit of everything. Is there any country you've never been that you would like to travel as soon as this pandemic is finished? Yes, uh, I've never been to USA, so it will be nice to visit uh, big cities like uh, New York, uh, as is also, you know, very well known for the restaurant scene, chefs, will be something nice to explore. Is there a particular restaurant you would like to go to in New York? I think uh, Eleven Madison Garden is one of that. What is the hardest alcohol you've ever tried? Probably grappa. Do you have any tattoos? Yes. Can you show where? <laughs> Only one, yeah? Yes. How can a man avoid irritating the woman with whom he lives? Just do what she wants all the time. <laughs> <laughs> When is it acceptable to tell a lie? Probably when you don't want to hurt someone. We are in August and in two days is Ferragosto. Are you not missing Sardinia this summer? Yes, of course. Actually, this year is the first year I didn't go back. Uh, normally we go once a year, uh, end of June, uh, beginning of July. And this year, of course, we couldn't go because of the COVID. Uh, I miss Sardinia a lot. What is your favorite beach in Sardinia? Uh, my favorite beach is in the area of Kia. Kia and there is uh, one beach called Tuareda. It's an amazing place. I think everyone should visit once in, a, in their life. What is the most dependable liquid intoxicant? <laughs> what is it?